900 years of peace in the Five Kingdoms are over. The Gur attack from the west, led by the power-hungry tyrant, Gambitar. Slaughtering and pillaging, in their wake only suffering and dust remain. The balance is lost, and evil clouds the minds of many. The guardian spirits are anxious, but only a pure heart can bring miracles into the human realm. His heart unsteady, the king of Jin Wu now makes his last stand. The boy! I was wondering whether you still had the power to summon the White Tiger. You godless Gore Barbarian, what do you know of Heaven's protections? <laughs> She's cornered! Huh? Excuse me! Get out of my way! Oh, ah. oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Out of the way! Ah. We lost her again! We really screwed up, you know that? Hey, it's not my fault! That old bag tricked me! I'm sure that the Queen will be thrilled to hear that one of her elite palace guards was foiled by a grandmother getting her groceries! Ugh, we'll be on stable cleaning duty for a week! Ha! Huh, too easy! Gotcha! <laughs> Are you gonna let her get away with that?
Whoa! You idiots! She escaped! Shu Yan! How many times have I told you not to startle me when I'm reading? You are lucky it was just me. What if I were a thief looking for an easy mark? A thief would have better manners than to interrupt a lady while reading. <laughs> Hurry up, Lily! Don't want to be late on your first date, do you? Come on, come on! The Regal Scrolls aren't going to archive themselves, you know. I'm really proud of you. Up to no good again? Why is your face all red? I was chased through the market by Mother's Palace Guards. Ha! Don't pretend you didn't enjoy leaving all of them in the dirt. I've known you since we were two years old. You can't fool me. Uh, if something was wrong, you would tell me, right? Uh. Told you Kung Fu was handy. Aren't you going to be late for Master Long? Uh-oh. The Fighters Tournament is here. Prove who's the best. Prove you're the best. Shu Yan, hurry up! <laughs> I'm here! I'm here! Wu Yang, Mei Lin, begin. Huh? <laughs> there were seven ways I could have countered you, Wu Yang. That was the least painful. You were meant to wait until I gave the signal. I, I don't know what came over me. Oh, I hate it when he does that deflection spin. Ah, Xu Yan, you've graced us with your presence at last. You're late. My apologies, Master. I won't waste your time with excuses. Since Xu Yan decided to be late today, we'll use her in our next lesson. Wait, what lesson? You'll see. Oh, I'm in the mood for a good fight. <sighs> a rooster looking for a fight will one day become someone's dinner. Students, attack Xu Yan! Brothers, thank you. What? <laughs> I can't wait to tell Lily how I kicked her little brother's butt. <laughs> Come on. I'm bigger than both of you put together. <laughs> Who says you're put together? Did you see this? Check this out. Kung Fu tournament tomorrow. You in? <laughs> you're gonna fight? We could go together. Huh? <laughs> Tell me, Xu Yan, why do you study Kung Fu? Because my mother hates it every time I come to class. Kung Fu is not only about fighting, but knowing your true intentions. And you do not know them yet. But Master... 
First, you must find your intentions, Xu Yan, and then you must abandon them. Only then will you elevate your kung fu. Now you will practice your first form. It requires great force to use this technique, and you must remain in control of this force at all times. Begin. Your body is strong, Xu Yan, but do not fall prey to arrogance. A true kung fu master is at peace even when in combat. Only then can you truly control your own body and mind. I search for peace, Master Long, but I only find anger. Oh, some honesty at last. Good work today, students. You may go home. Xu Yan, the courtroom is convening tonight. Do not be late. Last time I sent the entire royal guard to the sixth village on a thief hunt, it turned out to be a stray pig. I don't think the council wants me back. Patience and humility, princess. That is how you learn to govern. Loud? Oh, 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 watch, watch out for the fist! No, 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 the other fist! I can't believe you let my brother drag you to this idiotic spectacle. Winner! This is the best! Two warriors battling for honor, for glory, for money! Gian, the jawbreaker! In for another round! Come on, tell her, Xu Yen! This is amazing, right? This is amazing! <laughs> or will be, once I finally get my turn in the ring. Wait, what? <sighs> Jin! 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 Do you even know this guy? The refugees from Jin Wu think of him as their champion. He's one of them after all. <laughs> he looks pretty well fed. <laughs> For a refugee. Oh, he's been winning fights since he got here four months ago. He must have fled the capital when it fell to the Gur. Is there no one brave enough to take up this challenge? Only 30 copper coins to enter. You there, boy! You look like you have a thirst for glory. I'd like a turn, please. <laughs> Your administration fee. We have a challenger! And in the other corner, the hometown favorite, born just two streets from this very ring. You know him, you love him. The Serpent's Wrath! Fight! You out, you uptight, literate tea drinker! She's playing by the rules, Jian. 
More like paying by the rules. I'm not sticking around just so some rich girl can splurge her way to victory. She's out, and we're leaving! You, you worm! How dare you speak to me this way! <laughs> Can't handle a little truth, Cupcake? Then clearly you don't belong out here in the real world! Now leave! Gia, watch it. I like her. The girl stays. I am going to enjoy taking you down. Well, you gotta make it through the next fight first, before you even get the chance. What do you say, folks? How about another round with her? Fight! I don't care how much gold you pop out of your pockets. I'm not going easy on you. Good. I need a little challenge. <laughs> Get out of my face! Chu Yen, come on! That guy was out of control. I told you this was a bad idea, Wu Yang! Chu Yen, we are taking you home. General Xiao, I... It's good to see you. You as well, little sparrow. Dressed as a commoner again? When will you show some manners, princess? At least greet your honored parents. This humble daughter of the palace greets your honorable majesties. Father? Mother? Yes. Late as usual. You may rise, honored daughter. Now, let us begin. You abandoned your post to bring us news, General Xiao. What is the situation at the Sword Pass? The Gur army are continuing to amass soldiers at the border and have already outnumbered our forces. An attack is imminent. The Sword Pass fortress will not hold them long, unless we send more reinforcements. You are certain of this danger, General Xiao? The attack will come within a few days. Your Highness, at all costs, they must not cross the pass. Impossible. No army moves so swiftly. I will be blunt, as is my way. I must have more troops or Sword Pass will fall and the Gur will take this kingdom. Really, General Xiao? Are such dramatics necessary? I have worse still to report. I found him fleeing through the mountain pass, a Jin Wu soldier. Your Highness, I saw my king fall on the battlefield, not to sword, spear, or arrow, but to the most unnatural magics. This is the intelligence you bring us, General? The words of a credulous peasant? I saw my king summon the great white tiger. The guardian spirit of Jin Wu. Is this mythology? Or a military report? <laughs> <laughs> Our myths speak to many truths, or so said my honored teachers and elders. We believe in our own spirit, the Vermilion Phoenix, as surely as the Jin Wu believe in their white tiger. The Gur General has a spirit of his own, an evil red dragon which gives him unnatural powers. Together, they twisted the white tiger and sucked the essence from my king's body and left him an empty husk. Beware, your highness. If the Gur are now amassing on your border, then the red dragon is coming for you as well. Your highness, we dare not underestimate the Gur. If they have slain the king of Jinwa, they are on the hunt for more blood. If Sword Pass falls, our kingdom is next. 
Highness, this is a transparent play for power by General Shao. Children's stories and shameless mummery. Chancellor, give the General her reinforcements. There are no troops nearby. My king. The palace guard is the nearest armed force. They could be at Sword Pass in under a week. Sending the palace guard will buy us time, but not victory. No, it will not. That's why I'm sending a delegation to Zhongrong immediately, to propose an alliance. They may not even grant us an audience, sire, given our last interaction. Which is why you will take Princess Xu Yan as our royal representative. They will not dare turn aside the princess of Nanfeng. She is your only heir. She is completely inexperienced. I will live up to your trust, father. Is this truly wise, husband? Our court poet Qing Zhao will handle the bulk of the negotiations, and Master Long will provide an escort. Xu Yan's role in this mission is critical. And how is she to gain experience if we do not give her opportunities for it? Opportunity must be earned. Xu Yen, the road to Zhang Rong is long and dangerous. You must be prepared for anything. We will resume your training at sunrise. This is ridiculous. No more arguments. I've made my decision. This council is dismissed. Princess, please remain. Xu Yan. You did well in court tonight. Father, I'm... I am really grateful that you are sending me on this mission. Yes. Just don't set your guards on a goose chase in Zhongrong like you did in the market. <laughs> <sighs> I'll handle the politics here. Save your strength for your journey, little sparrow. Master Long, I'm ready for the training. Ah, on time for once. Good. We'll begin with breaking through an opponent's block. Shouldn't I be learning something more advanced? Combat alone will not win you a war. But... Focus on your shortcomings first, Xu Yen. Let's begin. Seem preoccupied, Shu Yen. I have to convince Zhang Rong to send us an army. The safety of our kingdom hinges on my diplomacy. Success or failure hinges on character, not skill. But Master, the Gur won't wait until I become an old sage. Your greatest enemy, Shu Yen, is not the Gur, it is yourself. Are you truly prepared to defeat it? Of course. I will do anything to become stronger. I'm afraid you have yet to grasp the essence of Kung Fu. Please, Master Long, tell me. What am I doing wrong? In our kingdom, the Vermilion Phoenix is not a mere symbol. It is a manifestation of the way. If 
you want to elevate your Kung Fu, you must elevate your mind first. Only then will our guardian spirit help you. You mean, it's possible to wield the power of the Vermilion Phoenix? Perhaps, but that should not be your goal. The mission, the Gur army, all of these are mere distractions. Look to your own heart and calm the turbulent seas. In still water, you will find your true self. That is the Phoenix way. How can I stay calm when so much is at stake? Make small and gradual changes to yourself, and you will improve in profound ways. Start, for instance, by not complaining about your training. Please, forgive me for being rude. I am ready to learn, Master. Good. Then let us resume. I will now teach you how to evade attacks. The days ahead will be dangerous, for all of us. The choices you make will have consequences, Xu Yen. You must take these matters seriously. Xu Yen, I heard you're going to Zhang Rong. Why in the heavens would the Council send you? That path is full of murderous outlaws. <sighs> I want to help Father and my kingdom, Lily. This is my chance. The main event! You're sure you want to do this? Now of all times? My kingdom is under threat from all sides. I need this. We're about to go to war. Besides, I want to smack that bully's face. For what it's worth, I believe in you. Me too. Thank you. Just watch out for Jen's hammer fist. No one can block that thing. Ah, oh, you're back! John here doubted you would show your face. <laughs> well, I was worried you might have come to your delicate little senses. Go ahead and smile, while you still have all your teeth. <laughs> all right! Right, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else, this is the fight we've all been waiting for! Our star fighter, the undefeated master of the ring! Not even the unnatural armies of the Gur could keep him down! And in the other corner, new to the ring but not new to the fight, the little... Firecracker! You should have wasted Daddy's money someplace else. Now you're gonna pay. Fight! Learned how to fight since last time. She was a big earner. Shut up. The boss is paying plenty. 
Don't forget our agreement, big guy. Knock her out and the sack of gold is yours. Fine. Just get your dog face out of here. Now! A uh, uh, final event! A uh, uh, survival fight! With the firecracker! Finally! I was wondering when this tournament would step it up. Capture her! Useless clowns! What are you standing around for? Wu Yang! You touch him. Hey! You brought this on yourself! Don't worry, I'm getting paid to bash you, not to. Uh, wait. I can get you twice whatever he's paying you. Say goodnight to the little firecracker. <laughs> Shuyin! No more fighting around! This bald face is wearing gore uniform. Huh? Get them! <laughs> 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 I'll deal with you later, princess. Shu Yen, are you alright? Can you fight?